What you guys got another video on how to install the missing Microsoft Store on Windows 11 LTSC. If you have a version of Windows 11 LTSC or IoT Enterprise LTSC, then this video is for you if you want to install the Microsoft Store and other dependencies on this system. So what we're going to do here, you can see there is no Microsoft Store on here and some people have said that they want to use the Microsoft Store. So if that is the case and you want to get it installed on here, I'll show you how to do it in this video. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then you can check out the links in the video description. Or they have Windows 11 Pro as well. Now, what you can do is you can either use these to upgrade from Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home to the Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro or you can use them as a fresh install and use those keys. So let's go ahead and all you need to do here is use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD key sales. Once you've submit your order, they will then send you your key and you can use this to activate your version of Windows or even use it for upgrading from home to pro, just like you see on the screen right now. OK, so back to the tutorial, what you'll need to do to install the Microsoft Store is go to your browser. And this is just one way of doing it. You want to type in there Xbox space app space download and search for the Microsoft Xbox app for the Windows PC. You can click on this one and it will take you to their website and you can now download the app right here. This is for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's go ahead and click on the download button to download the Xbox app. Now, don't worry, it'll all come clear why we need the Xbox app to install the Microsoft Store a little bit later in the video. But once you've got this, you can double click on it and install it and basically accept their terms conditions. Click on install and this will go ahead and start to install the app on the system. What this is going to do is it's going to tell you that you have certain dependencies missing on your PC. And that's because we're using an LTSC version that doesn't come with those pre-installed apps like Microsoft Store. Say yes to the user account control right here, and it's gonna go ahead and start to load in all of the necessary dependencies that we're gonna need. So once we've got this done, we can click on let's go. This will open up the application. From here, what we want to do right here is we want to browse the catalog. This is going to allow us to browse the catalog of this actual app. So let's go ahead and do that right here. It's going to say get ready to play and you can leave those check marked if you wish. And what we're going to do is click done here. And what you should see up the very top there, there should be a little banner saying missing components for the Xbox app. Now, what we're going to do here is you can either click on the review now and it will tell you right there. But if you don't see this little bar right here, then there's another way you can actually detect some of the missing dependencies on this system. To do that, what you need to do is click on the sign in and then go to settings. Once you click on the settings panel, you want to go to app right here. Click on app and now you'll see dependencies, app installer, feedback hub, game bar, Xbox Live Game Experience, Microsoft Store, and the Purchase app. If you just want to install the Microsoft Store at this stage, just click on the Microsoft Store Install button and it will install it. I'm going to go ahead and install all of these. You don't necessarily have to install all of these, but I'm going to go ahead and install all of these because someone might ask how to get the Xbox back onto the LTSC version, and this is how you would do it. So go through and install all of these and you can see it's starting to install the very last one, the app installer right here. You will need to close down this and restart your PC to finalize the installation. Otherwise, it will just sit there on the screen for a while. So don't worry about that. We're just going to close this off and close the next one off right here. And we can check the status here and you'll see there is still one missing uh, on here, but you can now see updates and downloads. We're going to get all the latest updates here and then we'll restart the system. So let that do its thing. And now that's done. Now, if you go back into the sign in area right here and you go to settings and then app again, you'll notice that it's still installing like so. That's because we need to restart the system. So what we're going to do is close this all off. 
And then what we're going to do is quickly restart the PC. So click restart. You can see update and restart. So that's what we're going to do right here. And we'll let this restart and it will go ahead and start updating the system and putting those dependencies back on so we can use them. Let me just boot up to the desktop one more time. Take a while just to load up. We're getting to the login screen right here. And there we are. We're back at the desktop. So let's go ahead and check it out and see whether it has finished installing. If we look at the apps right here, you can go through here. You can see uh, Game Bar has been installed here. We've got the Feedback Hub. You don't necessarily have to install that if you don't want to. We do have the Microsoft Store there as well. And we have Xbox. So if you do want to use Xbox and the Microsoft Store, that's how you can go ahead doing uh, the installation for those. And again, let me just quickly go ahead and open it up one more time here. So you can see right here, open up the area right here. And we're just going to quickly go into here and go to settings and go to app. And you should now see that it's all working correctly and it's all installed. Now, again, like I said, you can just install the Microsoft Store on its own if you wanted to. But it's advisable if you want Xbox and all that stuff is to go through this method. And that way you'll be able to play all your games, especially if you're playing Forza and things like that on inside the Microsoft Store there. That's how you go about doing that. So let me quickly close this right off here. And what we'll do is I'll quickly open up the Microsoft Store here so you can see it does actually work. You can see in the recommended settings here, it's right here. You can right click on this and add this to the uh, taskbar if you want to. You can see the Microsoft Store is now opening up and working correctly. And you can now download your applications and programs and games and stuff like that in the Microsoft Store. Now, if you accidentally installed the Feedback Hub and other apps like that, you can easily go into the settings here and then go to apps. And what we'll do is go to installed apps right here and you'll see Feedback Hub right here. You can still uninstall it. It's no big deal uh, if you accidentally installed it at the beginning and again there's other ones here like xbox if you wanted to uninstall that and you accidentally installed it you can do if you don't need it you can easily uninstall those they're all uninstallable but that's basically how you can install all of the xbox and also microsoft store and other apps like that if they're missing on your version of ltsc whether it'll be iot enterprise ltsc or whether it will be uh, the Windows 11 LTSE version, that's how you can install those apps on the system and even uninstall them like I'm showing you. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.